We're, this has been a, uh, a second week for this uh, segment. Uh, we're going to do some hopping around. Uh, Kevin and Jack actually made the rounds uh, last weekend and did some pretty interesting things. And I'm just going to let them freeform here because this is amazing. This is the Jack show. I just came along, I came along for the tail end, Jack. So my reason for <laughs> visiting beautiful, sunny California was to attend this concert and I, I know that this isn't baseball or craft beer related, but I also know that out of our thousands of fans, we do have a large contingent that love Vanderpump Rules, the <laughs> Bravo TV reality show as much as I do. So I came to California with my lovely bride on a little impromptu honeymoon to see Mr. Tom Sandoval himself in concert. This is... I was... There he is. There's my lovely, lovely, beautiful wife. And look at Tom, dude. Look at how precious he is. That is Tom Sandoval. He puts on an amazing show. You can see how happy I am. I have never fangirled out as much in my life. <laughs> like, I'll put it to you this way. I was with our friend of the show, Top Gun Tawar, and he said, if Ric Flair walked in here right now, would you be this excited? I was like, no, I wouldn't even care. I cried at this show. I, <laughs> dude, he, he, him and I made a connection. We had a lot of moments. There was a lot of like him pointing to me from the stage and giving me the, the brother sign. We did a meet and greet. So I got to talk to him. I got to hug him. Probably he didn't like it a lot because I'm a pretty rough guy and I really bear hugged him twice or three times. Um, it's what, probably what, uncomfortable. What, 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 uh, uh, three? I only got one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not Tom Sandoval, champ. Well, it's, uh, a, it's, it's a shame. It's a shame you couldn't get better seats, though. That's that's <laughs> right, exactly. I, dude, I like literally. I was right at the stage. It was the best live music performance that I have ever seen in my life. I was over the moon happy and excited. It was such a great wonderful experience I like this everybody makes fun of me because i'm a big vanderpump rules fan like guys it's gotten me through some dark times it has when times are rough the wife and i'll throw on an episode of vpr and instantly puts us in a better mood so to actually get to meet him in person have a few moments with him and then experience his showmanship he knows how to work a crowd he knows how to put on a good show it was Hands out, my my wife, dude. She's been to Barbara Streisand, Guns and Roses, you know, you name it. She's gone and saw him, and she said that this was the best show she's ever seen for live music. <laughs> he knows how to work a crowd, dude. Ring psychology is an important thing, and if you know how to work the crowd, you're money. And it's like it was the greatest rock and roll show I've ever been to in my life. It was fun. It was great. There were girls flying in from North Dakota to meet him. I mean, there was a, a throng of young, beautiful women there to meet him. And he made sure that the fat guy from Phoenix, he gave <laughs> as much love to as everybody else. I, I, his drummer was super cool. A drummer and band manager, Jason Bader, gave me his drumsticks after the show. It was, hands down, the greatest show I've ever been to I've been to Royal Rumbles. I mean, you name it. This was the probably the pinnacle. I, I'm going to become a groupie. I mean, we are going to start traveling the country and following his band like deadheads. Oh, no. We're going to be Sandoval heads. Wow. But have you, but wait, you never you you guys never saw uh, Bo Mozart live? Mozart, no. <laughs> no. What? Sorry, that, that, that that's more your speed. Uh, you never you. Oh, I forgot. I, I yeah. Mean, I, I didn't, you, you you used to play with Methuselah back in the day. <laughs> that jam set. Yeah. So no, I this was the reason for the visit to California. I got to visit so many other places. I went on a Vanderpump Rules tour. Uh, we went to West Hollywood and uh, we went to Tom Tom Schwartz and Sandy's. Where there I am having a, a nice glass of Lisa Vanderpump's own rosé. Fantastic. First rosé I've ever had in my life, and it was to die for. We went to Tom Tom, Pump, 
<laughs> in 1788. Uh, in 1788. 1788. <laughs> Dutch as old as I am? Oh, God. So, yeah, this is uh, Tom Sandoval's restaurant, bar restaurant that we went to. It was, I mean, craft cocktails. Not a lot of craft beer in these establishments that I went to, but a lot of craft cocktails that are super tasty. The food, the food at Shorts and Sandy's, the best thing you can get is the lobster corn dog, which... Oh. I know sounds interesting. Wow. It's a lobster corn dog served with a curry mustard. Ooh, it's like a crazy. warm lobster roll. It is hands down. It's fantastic. It's amazing. It's worth the trip. The decor is like a 70s trippy Hollywood. I mean, it's an experience. And I would highly recommend Shorts and Sandy's. I would highly recommend going and seeing Tom Sandoval in concert uh, on... Uh, <laughs> Sunday, we went to Sir Restaurant in West Hollywood, and there was actually an LGBTQ plus march down the street. So after we had brunch with Kevin Lyon and our cousin Jeff, oh, there we, go. <laughs> we we went uh, we went up, checked out the march. Uh, we got to have have some really cool experiences in West Hollywood. This is where I earned the nickname the Clown Prince of West Hollywood. You're and welcome. it was just, it was fantastic. I mean, the brunch at Sir, I had a uh, a lamb sausage and eggs. Uh, it was baked eggs. It was like, because I had the same thing. It was, it was like in a little skill of lamb sausage, baked eggs, and like a tomato sauce. Oh my gosh, it was, yeah. it was fantastic. Yeah, the meal, it was like the best brunch I ever had. <laughs> I mean, so. I, hands down. Ke Kevin, God bless him. He took two trains and a bus to come and meet us. And you can see how happy we are together. Look at my man, Kevin, all dressed up. And then you carried him back. And then I carried him back home. Yeah. As, as I was holding him, we were just singing songs to each other. Take my breath away. I told him, get ready. And I just jumped. Yeah. And he, and he, and I did I a trust. That's almost like a trust fall. Yeah. I knew the spot, baby. We almost yeah. did a Quesadora, Michael. Just uh, Yeah, I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have done that. That, that would have got some attention. That sounds awesome. So and then, I, I, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. So these were my shenanigans in West Hollywood. I also got to experience Venice Beach for the first time, which was mind-blowingly fun. I got to go to the Gold's Gym that's featured in the – Famous documentary Pumping Iron with Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. which in college years, Top Gun Tower and myself would watch that documentary at least once a week after a workout because we're nerds. But they got to walk that path. And I just, man, I, we got to see the Venice Canals, which I never knew anything about. Uh, if you haven't heard of the Venice Canals, do a little research. They, the roads were actually canals like Venice, uh, Italy, uh, before they turned them into roads. It was, uh, it was such a great experience. The food was out of control. The, the drinks were, were fantastic. A craft cocktail. I had a, a clockwork pink. I had a Tom's good loving Manhattan. I had the Lisa Vanderpump Rose. Uh, everybody was so friendly. I fell in love with one of the waiters at Tom Tom. Uh, his name is Chad <laughs> and he's a stud. So <laughs> it, if you're in West Hollywood and you stop into Tom Tom, tell Chad that Cowboy Jack's still waiting for him to follow me back on Instagram. That's confirmed Desperado on Instagram. <laughs> Chad, hit me up. Bob. Hit me up. Uh, uh, we went to Pump. I'm just so full of great people and happiness. I actually, we got to see a street fight in West Hollywood as we were leaving for the evening. Um there was a guy that was really upset about the valet parking and he tried to take on four valet parkers <laughs> and that didn't end well for him. <laughs> that like a first world problem. <laughs> yeah, it's a first yeah. world problem, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the guy pulled up in like a white sports car and he was really pissed off that that's where the valet was set up. So <laughs> it broke loose, dog. And listen, I've been in street fights in Mexico, in Tucson, Arizona, in Korea, in Australia. But this was a nasty fight. Like Ooh. these brothers went at it, dude. It was uh it was solid. It was solid. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, Did you I just pull up your craft cocktail just to off the side and just watch. No, like, we were we were we, the valet just handed us our keys and he was like, oh. Wait, what? 
So we oh, got yeah. in our car and just sat there and just like had a front row seat, man. It was right. fantastic. It's but free. I, for free, yeah, dude. But I, you know what? And then I make left sure my, you I leave left. before the cops show up because then you might be a witness. So That's you gotta true. Get out yeah, we, we, we hot footed it, hot footed <laughs> out there pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> but uh, yes. But no, I, dude, I left my heart in West Hollywood. I, it's, it quickly, quickly became one of my favorite places on earth. And I'll, I'll definitely be going back. Uh, June is, they do a big pride march. And so I'll be going back out there for that. Look at you. And I, this time I'll find some craft breweries to, uh, <laughs> to talk about here on the show. Well, that's, that's okay, okay because I can, I can explain this too. We went to Sir. Uh, he's like, oh, look at the, the beer list. And, the, and I saw a beer that said, it was like, you know, like Stella or like Bud Light or whatever. And then something said, Hanalei IPA. And I'm like, all right, I guess I'll just get that. And then all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute, look this up. And of course it's Kona. I was going to say, yeah, that's Kona. Kona which, yeah. which, yeah, I guess it's weird. Apparently parts of it is independently owned, but it's mostly part of the uh, the Ambev universe. Right. So yeah. as I was halfway through that, I'm going, hey, I'm going to get a cocktail. So I'm getting like a really nice uh, gin cocktail. It was an English breakfast uh Gin well, cocktail, breakfast for me yeah. because you right. know I, I had to drink it before I ate. You know, <laughs> right? No, but I I mean the 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 goat cheese balls were amazing. The mm. it's worth the trip to go to these restaurants, Sir Pump, Tom Tom, Schwartz and Sandy's. Go there for the cuisine, the experience. They're beautiful. The ambiance is great. I took pictures all over the. I, there's pictures of me in the famous alley where they have their where the waiters and waitresses of Sir have their fights. I snuck behind the bar and got a picture taken. I I, I was in yeah. Vanderpump Rules fangirl heaven. And <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever be able to achieve that level of happiness again. I'm going to be chasing oh. that dragon for a long time. Boys. <laughs> I'm going to be no. chasing that dragon for a long you, time. You, you have a glow about you that's uh, yeah. that I have not seen in quite some time. I It was – it just – so if you grew up the way Cowboy Jack grew up, you're kind of always waiting for the other foot to drop or the other fist to come and hit you in the face. But it just feels like, you know what, man, the first time in my life, I'm not worried about anything. I'm not stressed about anything. It's like, man, life is good and it's time to enjoy and celebrate life. And that's where I'm at. That's what I did. So great to see Kevin. Um, I'm so glad I was able to go. Yes. And do you have to have the photo that, and, and ironically enough, I, I took the train up. I had to take the train to Orange County. I was going, all right, well, there you go. Perfect. So what they dropped me off, they say, oh, we'll drop me off the Culver City stop. And I'm like going, okay, well, I got a couple hours for the next train. Let me just see if there's any breweries around there. Literally 100 feet away was a brewery. And it's actually one called Los Angeles Ale Works. They have a location in Hawthorne, which is originally based out of. And I found and then this, then there's this location in Culver City, literally right at the train station to get back to, uh, all the way back to downtown L.A., and this is a place I know we've had a couple beers from before. Um, the one I have, the uh, Lunar Kitten I had before and had it there. Um, previously made one called Red Beard that was in honor of Justin Turner. We was on the Dodgers. It had like a picture, it had the picture of it, the beard and has blue like Dodger colors. So I was like, all right, I, I can I can support a baseball beard even if it is a Dodger beard. That's fine. Yeah, Russian attack. Yeah, I know. I know. I, I didn't get I didn't try that one. I'm like, I'm not, I can't do a 12 and a half yeah. percenter. But I pretty much tried all, like almost all their IPAs. <laughs> Kevin, if, if you're in the neighborhood again, I would love for you to pick up some of that Contiki Tropical Triple IPA. And you know what? And I'm bummed I didn't try that because I I have been to Contiki in Tucson. Mm. Oh, okay. if that's what you're thinking of, right? Yeah, I was. I was just Contiki is that. like the famous is a famous. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know if it, it might just be a coincidence, but Contiki is like a very famous old school. Uh, Tiki Bar in Tucson, Arizona. Yeah, I, all I saw was Tropical Triple IPA. In oh, all right. I just, I'm just adding <laughs> I, Tucson. I, I forgot about Contiki in Tucson, but yeah, no, yeah, it's sure still there. for that too. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to try that. I tried. To, I, I think I tried the. Yeah, I, I tried mostly all the, the other uh, IPAs and stuff. So I'm before you go on, Kevin, I, I wanted, I wanted to make mention of this because you talked about the the Justin Turner uh, uh, beer that that Los Angeles Ale Works has done. Now I got it from Whole Foods yes. and I'm like, Oh, baseball beer. Awesome. I'm in. Yeah. I have a little bit of heat with Los Angeles Ale Works because, uh -oh. because they're the only beer. I'm like, is this just a bad batch? Is this, is there something oh. wrong with canning? Is there something wrong? Every beer I've had of theirs in a can 
has not been good. And I, I don't oh, say wow. that about anything. Wow. Yeah. That's good I've to know. An open mind. And I said, like, I definitely want to give them a chance because I, I, I want something from straight from the tap. Okay. Yeah. How, I, I just want to know how were the beers there off the tap? Were they, were they? Uh, yeah. Them? I enjoyed them. And I've had that red beard yeah. on draft. Yeah. Because um, if you saw our social media, um, I got, Someone I know called me, and there were guys who actually had a, a tap room called Red Beard's Tap Room. Mm. So part, you know, that was like their gimmick. So of course they had the Red Beard. So that's how I was aware of LAL works, because I had that Red Beard on tap before, and it, okay, I definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, so, yeah, I've I don't know. That's them, weird. Everything I've had from them in the can has been bitter and not great. Oh, and yeah, it's all. I, I, I said, I'm like, am, am I just getting? Uh, you know, you never know. It, it could have been out in the sun for all I know, and and all. Yeah, I thing. mean. And I, everything I had there was very good. I mean, I was getting ready to leave and I had to have another beer. I had like three, four while I was just hanging out there. So yeah. I, you know, so, that tells me it must have been good, you know. Definitely awesome. enjoyed myself watching yeah. baseball and just chilling and having a good afternoon. It, such to a give nice you day. context on how much he enjoyed it, we dropped him off at a chain, train station. Then we drove to Venice Beach. Then we drove to Phoenix, Arizona. And as I was pulling into my driveway, he texted, just got home. So I call shenanigans there. Come on. It wasn't that. Wasn't that <laughs> but then, uh, I mean, so I definitely want to make, I don't know. I do not know if I'm going to make it to Culver city. That's, that's a, it, I it, never it, would have either, but it just yeah. happened to be where they dropped me off. Exactly. Um, they do uh, have one, I think in downtown LA. So uh, I, the only location they mentioned was Hawthorne and Hawthorne. Maybe yeah, maybe the, maybe the one in work. downtown LA is not no longer there, but uh, yeah. I'll definitely give this a chance because I, I I said I really wanted to like this, and I said I've had bad luck with it, and it's I I think it's only me, so uh, I definitely want to check I, it out. I, I mean, I definitely enjoyed myself there, and then you know, like I said, then at the end, as I was like just took two quick trains home because also I'm like, oh no, it's getting close. I got it because the last train to Orange County from uh, uh from LA and Union Station on a Sunday on MetroLink is like uh seven twenty p.m. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, I'll just stop at the brew house and just have one more. And then I was pleasantly surprised at this opening day. So I had it on the show and you got to love the little, that's like a book, a baseball neon, neon baseball. It literally just spins and it has this says brew house and has their H uh, home plate logo, which is great. Yeah. And then, uh, yep. Yeah, yeah. There's part of the interior. It looks like this is just an old school. It probably was just a part of the train station. Like who knows, like maybe even a century ago and they just renovated it and just made it look so nice. I'm not acknowledging beautiful, that. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> building, man. Yeah, it's really nice building. So, you know, yeah, so I, I, I just I just want them to do well because I'm I'm hoping you know, I've, I've never been there when there's a Dodger game, but I would I would I would assume that on Dodger Day day games that place is probably like Ooh. pumping. It's probably yeah. be going really hot. Yeah, yeah, you might want to go. You might want to go check that check that out and report back. Yeah, we've. That's, that, yeah, we definitely. It, it's funny. Why is the Dodger game part? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, there's beer there, dude. And I know. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. As we established yeah. last night, dude, a bad day at a brewery watching baseball is better than a good day at the office, baby. And <sighs> and, and Jack, this yeah. is this is the conundrum here. It's like so, like that that Union Station where that's at. There's actually two of our favorite breweries that are right there, which is Boomtown and Highland Park. Ooh. And, uh, oh, so, and homage, oh, don't forget homage. Homage is another good one. That's in oh, that I have too. not been there. I've I've wanted I've to never, go. I've, I've had a couple of beers from them. They're 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 really good too. Like those are about a 10, 15 minute walk from the from there. But this is literally at the train station, mm -hmm. which is crazy. So I know that the pitch clock is speeding up our this this game we love called baseball. Yes. But I still think that if you went at the beginning of a Dodgers game, you would have time to have at least. 12 beers at each of those breweries. <laughs> that's that's, that's if my math is correct, that's 36 beers. So brunch for Kevin. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say, or me and Wade Boggs can sure. <laughs> so if the game starts at 7 PM, I mean, if you, if you, if you roll in like, like noon or so, you, right. you have plenty of time. Plenty of time. <laughs> you are the senior research analyst. That is part of your job, Kevin. Yes, I know it is. By the way, I, why, lo yeah. I love yes, that sir. you took the job of uh, like, no, I'll be the guy that drinks all the beer. That's me. Right. Like, <laughs> I was going to do it anyway. Right. <laughs> if you do what you love, they don't call it work, daddy. -o. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's fun. Thanks so much for sharing all of that. 